Everyone, I just want to uh, do a quick test on the foil. Um, someone was having cracking issues, so I want to see uh, if I have the same issue with the same uh, design and same product and same foil. So that's all this is. So she gave me um, this SVG, which is about 11 inches. So zoom in here. The only difference, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use a weeding box. So um, let's take a look. It's right there. It's a Chihuahua. It's already in reverse. I'm going to take this and I'm going to send it to my cutter. Rotate it. And I'll go ahead and cut that. Let's see. And then the cutter. And then I'll I'll weed it on camera and then we'll press it and see how well it goes. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so uh, we're gonna continue on with this. So the Chihuahua piece is right here, it's already been uh, cut and weeded, so it looks good. Um, I think she used um, the silver uh, glitter, which has uh, some stars and stuff in it, that's what it looked like to me. And I'm just going to use a piece of 100% cotton here. So let's go ahead and give this a try and see what happens. Okay. Oops. Looks like I forgot to weed one part here. So I'll go ahead and press this down here, just so I can use this for something else. And you don't have to cover it, but I'll just cover it just because a lot of people are, I like to cover their stuff. Five second press here. So now we have uh, the text tech on there. Um, something to look for if you do do this often is you can look at your uh, the material to see if it did get covered. So for example, if there was a mistake someplace, uh, you would see uh, that the text tech didn't stick there. So like if there was a big, kind of like right here, let's see, on this A right here, if there was... Uh, the material got messed up, you would see that it's not stuck there, but I can see that it's not stuck in the A right there where it's supposed to be. I can see the line where the dog is. So everything looks good so far. So I'm going to take a piece of this material back there. Okay. So I'm going to take this. I'm just going to cover this right here. I didn't do a pretty cutting job, but it's okay. And I'll take the cover sheet again. So that's my area. So this I'm going to press for 10 seconds here. I'm only using a 4 pressure. Usually I have it up at 6, but I think I had uh, pressed something else. So let's just see with the light pressure how it comes out. So the key right here now is to make sure this is cool. You don't want to peel it once hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here to my laser engraver and I'm just going to flip it over and I'm rubbing the back of it to uh, just so I can get the uh, glass to cool off the foil. Okay, now let's give it a try.
So what you're seeing here, where all this is sticking like this, is where I didn't let it cool. But if I brush it off, it'll come off. And that's what we want. We want to everywhere it's not supposed to stick, it won't stick. So when you wash this, or actually when you just kind of go like this, it'll get all the extra pieces off. It'll stick only on the lines there. So you can use your finger if you ever, if you ever see like right here, I was trying to show you, right there's a jagged edge right there. If you just take your finger and scratch it, it all the foil will come off where you don't want it to be. And I'm looking for the part that she had, so I'm kind of looking through this, looking for um, uh, the stretchy parts. So I, I don't, I didn't have that problem that she had where, you can see right here, so I'll bring it up closer. So there's no, um, no breaks in it. So, not sure what causing that. I don't know if it's maybe it's a stretchy material they have, and it's um, maybe it's stretched when the text tag gets pressed on it, or maybe uh, maybe it's it's not stretched and they put the text tag and then they stretch it and it creates little cracks in it. And when they put the foil, the foil doesn't stick on those cracks. Um, I'm not sure because I've never had it happen with me. I've seen people post and say, "Hey, you know, I have this issue right here." And um, some people bump up their heat, some people bump up their pressure, but um, some people let it cool down longer. And I didn't let it cool that long, but uh, most of the time if you cool it off quick, rub on the back. Some people will, uh, to cool it off, they'll take like an eraser in their hand or something cool and put it on top here. You can take a magazine or a book. You just want to draw the heat away to cool off the foil. But um, I didn't have the issue, so I'm not sure. I'll have to do some more trying. I'm going to see if I can stretch this and make it crack like I said this is just 100% cotton here so and even when I stretch it here I'm not getting any cracks in it so not really sure but uh, I'll keep on testing and see what I can what I can find